Uh, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Black Star Pan African Community uh, Conference call for December 6th. And our goal is to talk about how we can uh, organize our energy to make sure that we have our group that's there uh, ready to build in the next month or two. Uh, so I want to go through the full process of what we have set up and what we have going on ever since uh, September, uh, which is the one September 2020, which is the one year mark of us organizing that we paid for the 15 acre of land um, in uh, Jahadzi. And our attorney is on the line. And what we're going to do is this I'm going to go to a few things. Then I want uh, Sister Kaladi to present the research that she did. And then Richard can follow up with uh, the, all the legal process that we've been through. So right now we're set literally to work on the new plans, which I'm going to put in screen sharing mode uh, right now. Uh, that is the new design we have based on the uh, slideshow. So if um, and anything I'm talking about, and if it's not uh, shown on your screen, let me know. But uh, right now, um, what, I'm, what I'm looking at is a 50 plot uh, setup. So it's a little bit different from what we had before. Um, the reason why is, I'm, and I'm going to show you this slide, is because of this situation right here. What you see is 50 acres of land. And some, some adjustments had to be made to where we are, we're all connected. So we have 65 acres. Uh, so it's going to be another story also where we have to set up where the commercial part of the land is in reference to what we have already set up at the front. So we have a lot of important things to talk about, but right now these are, these are, these are two surveys that's put together as one to show that the land is joined. And these are all of the dimensions. And that's the original survey and that's the rough draft that I created just to slice up the uh, original survey lines. And that's the 50 acres. So all of these things are available. I can email them to you. I've, I've uh, post them in a group chat also. So you can always click on the top and get access to them. All right, cool. So here we go. So that is it right there. So um, I'm honestly looking for feedback if anyone have any issues with it, but we set it up to where the first 50 acres, which now we have more land available since uh, we have um, a few people who made some adjustments. Uh, so for those who are in phase two, if you, once we go to everyone who already is in phase one to select their plots, then we just let others in phase two know that, hey, there's more plots in phase one available and we just transfer you over. So, and anyone who wants to move from phase two to, excuse me, phase one to phase two, they're more than uh, open to doing it. Right now in phase one, we wanna get all the survey money together, which is $350 per plot uh, for the survey. And once we get that all together, we can get all of the 50 plots surveyed and you know, get the business and the, the park and the community center plots are also surveyed. Uh, so that's the uh, cost per plot. Uh, once we get, uh, so the goal is to get everyone to send it in as best as possible uh, in the next uh, several days. Uh, right now, the priority um, is the people on the ground who paid for their survey already. We want to make sure that uh, once they select their plots in the next day or two, based on what they have sent me, they can start, um, you know, getting the, going out there and looking at the plot. The survey there is going to mark all of the plots off. So it was important that everything falls in line of this, uh, this graph here. I'm not an expert in any of these things, but, you know, just trying to share with you how everything links up together from the rough draft to how the actual community layout is. And then we may have to create another road to connect uh, phase two to where we can connect a business district and things like that, but we're gonna have to figure that out. But for now, um, we set something up that where it's, the, the road, <coughs> excuse me, the roads are being put in to where it connects and you have a nice flow and things like that. The main thing I got to talk with the, to the surveyor and, or, or Quabino or just even Richard is if what by the time this is all done, are we still going to have 100 by 80? So that's one thing that they can share. Uh, the next thing after we, uh, we, all, we all do the process of surveying, Richard is going to explain uh, the paperwork in a 99 year lease. But the next thing I've set up is a land registration, which it's set for 
if we can get all the money for the land registration is $700 per plot. Um, we can literally just use the in company incorporation, which is in process, which Richard is going to explain that, and we would be, be able to register the land as Black Star Pan-African Community, which is a legal name and process of being put together. Um, so that's what I have set up and that's what I put together on the on the email that was sent uh, so everybody could be clear about that situation. And that's what I've been communicating the last few days um, in the page. And I, now this is the last thing I posted. So everyone can kind of take a look at where they want to plot, you know, even if you're the last person on the list uh, and things like that. That way, when we get to you, you have an idea. And uh, we'll keep updates of who I have what plots and things like that. It's a system that I've worked before and I'll make it uh, you know, even more efficient because the survey wants the name of uh, plot one to 50 and so on. And also it has to be sent to our attorney. Uh, so Sister Kalade, uh, what I want to do is uh, bring you in so you can just do your presentation on what you found as far as um, development of the community. Uh, let's chime in once you um, are ready. All right, so make sure she is on. And what I'll do is I'll stop this uh, screen sharing. All right, Sister Kaladi, um, this, um, can you hear us? I just saw your name a little while ago. So she don't appear to be there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right to uh, Richard. Uh, Richard, can you hear us good? All right. Uh, let me just unmute Richard, our attorney, and then go to his presentation. And then uh, Sister Kaladi wants, she, let me, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can just unmute her real quick. Maybe she can't unmute herself. All right, Kaladi, we're trying to unmute you. All right, I'll wait for her to unmute herself. And uh, Richard, can you unmute yourself? Uh, perfect, uh, Richard. You can. I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very. perfect. What I want to do is I want to do a proper introduction for you as our attorney, and want to see if you can just you know, since we're all trying to get to know each other some more, uh, give us some background of you, of, uh, of yourself, and also some background of your law firm and law practice and background and what you specialize in, and then also help uh, explain to us as the attorney that's working with our group that uh, that are that uh, we have you know, on the books to just work with us. Uh, just explain to everyone the things that you have in place to make us a legal entity and all of the things that you're doing as an attorney. Um, but, but definitely start with your background so we can get to know your background a little better. Yes, thank you, Bumani. I believe um, this is about the second time um, I'm having this conference call with all members of Black Star Pan-African community. Um, my name is Richard, Richard Lapo. I'm an attorney, a lawyer, solicitor, barrister, however you may want to put it. I'm a lawyer here in Ghana and I am into real estates and properties. I, I have general, in the field of practice, generally my, 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 my field is, as I said, property and real estates. But of course, 
I'm also into corporate law, a bit of criminal lawyer, and others. Now, I've been working with Bumani for about, for quite some time now. And my initial task was to um, make sure that I get the group, um, the, the initial 15 acres of land. Um, I prospected for the land. I got one somewhere on the Winneba Road, that's uh, in Jazzy. I told Bomani, Bomani assigned um, his consultant, that's Mr. Kwabna, to go with me to the land. So ever since then, I've been working with Bomani and Mr. Kwabna. We have been to the land. Uh, we went to the chief, made our proposals, and the chief agreed to give us a 99-year lease on a 15-acre land. So we drafted the, the memorandum of understanding to spell out uh, both parties' obligations um, under the said contracts. So that um, MOU was duly executed. And in the MOU, the terms for payments, I mean, um, everything was captured in that MOU. So fortunately, both parties delivered as per the terms of that MOU. Um, Bomani was able to uh, pay for the lease of the land, the 99 year lease, Nana in turn, also give out the land. It went through one or two formalities at the land department. That's what we call search. Um, the surveyor conducted a search um, and it, it, it came out that Nana has the legal right to lease the said land to the community. So uh, consequently, Nana executed uh, a 99 year lease in respect of the land that's for the first 15 acres. So, as we speak, there is a binding 15, there's a binding lease agreement on the 15 acre parcel of land at Jersey. So, um, Bomani contacted the, uh, he contacted me again that. He wanted, the group wanted to acquire an additional 50 acres of land. So I got back to the chief and then just as we did for the 15 acres, we did same. In fact, we are doing same for the 50 acres because um, we, we've signed the, the MOU and terms of payments have begun. So we are, we are, we are, we are on net, hopefully, um, by, by in the course of the coming year, we'll be able to finish paying the, and then the chief will execute another 50 acre um, lease of land to you. And then we will we'll, we'll have 65 in all. But as it stands now, we are, we are in the process of uh, formalizing the paperwork and then even on the ground going to pick, search, survey, and all that. So that is um, being done. Um, now, there is this issue that had to do with um, company registration. As, as an entity, the group ought to be registered. So um, it has been done. Nana, Nana and um, Mr. Kobner, they, 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 they executed the paperwork, they signed and then they are in the process of, of getting the company registration for us 
what happened was that we 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 should have been able to get the the registration done however there was a problem at our um company's office if i should put it we call it we call it um registrar general's department there was a bit of a te technical glitch so um they couldn't process our earlier application that's governor and nana's earlier application so uh we had to we were notified to reapply for the for the certificate so i had to give them a new set of forms so the the, the nana and governor executed new set of forms and then i took it for 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 it to be done uh, unfortunately, I was promised somewhere around last week, and I couldn't receive it. However, I've served notice to the official um, preparing or registering the, the, the said uh, entity that if by Wednesday I don't get it done, I'll demand a full refund of whatever payments we've done so that we can get someone to, to, to get it speedily done for us. So I have given him up to Wednesday, coming Wednesday, that's on the 9th of December to come up with a registration or I would have to demand a, a refund of the fee we paid. Now, um, we, we have this issue about land registration too. The land registration after the acquisition of, of the, the land, let's say for now, the 15, the 15, that's the one five acres of land has been duly executed. Um, the group is in possession of the land. The land is now for the group. However, our interest in that land, the law in Ghana says that you have to register any land acquisition that you make any lease of land, any conveyance of land done to you, you would have to take steps to have the, 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 the said property registered. So now that the 15 acres of land is ready, we are in possession, the lease agreement has been executed and everything. We have to take the the lease documents what we in other words the indenture we have to take the, that piece of documents to the lands commission obviously cape coast because jazzy falls within the central region of the republic of ghana so you have to take it to the cape coast lands office where we call it lands commission cape coast then they will take you through some um, registration process to have your land registered. So in this sense, it means the land ought to be registered in the name of an entity because the land belongs to the group. That is why we need the, the, the registration, the company registration, so that the 15 acres, which was acquired in the name of the said entity would now be registered in the name of that entity. Now, when it is registered, like I said, it will go through some, some formalities, a bit of paperwork and all that. Uh, we'll have to submit company registration to prove that, yes, the said company is duly registered as per the laws of Ghana and everything. So once the registration is done, we'll be issued with a certificate to say that there are 15 acres of land which we acquired from Nana Haiti, the third, that said land has been duly registered by Black Stars Pan African Community. So now it is registered, we will be issued with a certificate, we are covered. Now, after that, um, the, the group, that's the Black Stars Pan African Community, can now proceed to give each and every one subscriber or plot owner and, uh, 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 an agreement 
we call it uh, an assignment. So the, the group or the entity will assign portion of the 15 acre land to you. So if, um, let's say you have one plot of land or your, your brother or sister um, has two or three or whatever, a, a, a separate agreement will be drafted in the name of, no, between the two parties, Black Star Pan-African community and whoever. You see, so we will have separate land documents for each and every one of you according to your number of plots. So after that, because the land has already been registered uh, with the government at Cape Coast Lands Commission, the, 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 um, the one who assigned is the assignor, the one who is receiving is the assignee. The assignee will take her, his or her documents to Cape Coast Lands Commission and they change over. They will, they will register your part, your part which was legally granted to you by the group, they'll register it for you. You see, but that one, it is, because the registration has already been completed, it, 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 it will just uh, follow naturally. You see, so they will, they will take a portion of, of the land. If it is one plot or two plots, they will take a portion and then fix your, instead of having Black Star Pan-African community name on that one plot or two plots, it will now change to your individual names. So that is the bit with the, the, the land registration. And the land registration, I don't know how uh, you want to do it, but with the 15 acres, if we can start somewhere early next year, so that we can get it done. If um, there is a consensus among all of you that it should be added to the 50 acres, then we, we would have to register all the 60, 65 at a go, else we'll have to do it in piecemeal. Um, I reckon that maybe with the 50 acres, individual plots um, is yet to be allocated. So if, if um, we could go ahead and register the entire 65 acres, I think it will be, it will be okay. It will be okay and then it will save time, but we can also do it in piecemeal. So that decision is up to you to, to decide as a group. Um, I think basically, so that is it. Um, the 60 acres, the, the, the 50 acre of land is on course. Um, the, the, the surveyor is working on the land. And then uh, by, by, by next week, Wednesday, by the same next week, Wednesday, we'll have the search on the land. Now, the search, even though um, we know that the land belongs to Nana, the search is, is um, uh, the preliminary exercise we conduct just to be sure to, to remove all doubts that indeed it belongs to Nana. We did the same with the 15 acres. It came out that it belonged to Nana and we are doing the same for, for, for um, the 50 acres. So um, by Wednesday, it will be out. As I said, um, We've started engaging Nana on the 50 acres and all is well. So um, we'll take it from there. So for now, I think so far, this is where um, we've got into respect of the land. I've explained that the company registration will be done um, by Wednesday. Um, it will be done and then we'll, with the company registration, Somewhere after the holiday starts in January, if we want to proceed with the, with the um, registration of the 15 acres, we can uh, proceed to do that with the company registration. So uh, with that company registration, we would also need it 
if we want to open a bank account for the group? Because um, I don't know um, whether you would want to undertake any uh, economic activity with the group or whatever the, your leaders or your good selves will, will, will decide. Um, a bank account for the group, it's possible with the company registration. So um, at this point, we would wait for the company registration because it appears it's at the heart of your engagement with the government and other state institutions and um, other uh, like financial institutions and all that. So let's wait for the company registration to be um, sorted out somewhere in the course of this week. So that we will see from there. Well, so perfect. Perfect. Uh, I appreciate your energy. And Richard, if you can hold, um, what I want to do is uh, get Kaladi to do a presentation and once she's finished, we'll open things up and then we can just all dialogue in reference to um, what we need to talk about, uh, which is uh, just make sure everybody's clear on the legal process and everything and also the, the development process. Uh, so, uh, also, um, the 15 acres is set up to register by itself to get things going because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of money to register the 50 acres. So once we get more members, we'll get to the, that just like how we did on the 15 acres. And then the reason why we know we can do the 50 acres is because we have literally done the 15 acres and things like that. Uh, so family, um, let me just uh, open things up so Kaladi can uh, share, with her, share with us her field research on the community being developed and what's needed. Uh, Sister Kaladi, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, yes, loud and clear. Okay, great. Um, yes, thank you, Richard, for that presentation. That cleared up a lot of uh, questions that I had. I still have a few more, but uh, that can wait until we get to the appropriate time. I've, what I, I, The two agencies that, uh, that I have been working with is the Lands Commission here in Cape Coast, because I'm on the ground in Cape Coast and the Business Resource Center. And everything that Richard has said, and I'll just quickly recount it, we need our company registration, which uh, the suggested one, and I don't know if this is the one we have, but it, it possibly is, uh, should be a limited liability company, um, which would be a LLC. And uh, so, that was the, the registration that was the suggested one in uh, when I met with the uh, Business Resource Council. The Land Commission does just exactly what Richard has just um, itemized in his report. The Business Resource Center is an organization which really is designed to help businesses, Ghanaian businesses for Ghanaian citizens but because of the uh, emphasis on the return, they are making a special effort to work with, um, with, with business organizations like ourselves in order to help facilitate our re-entry into the Ghanaian economy. And that's one of the reasons that they are very willing to work with this. If you listen to my uh, audio that I put on, that I posted, uh, the general manager, in fact, said that they would be very willing to work with us. They are, they characterize themselves as one-stop shopping and for your business needs. And that means they do a number of different business services. Uh, their methodology is that you have a central uh, administration that works with you in discerning through business planning and discerning your business needs and then contract contract out specialized services. Like if you need structural engineers or what, you know, or whatever you may need arch architects or whatever, then they have registries of people that they have, as they said to me, vetted to uh, be available to choose from. Or they said that, your, that our vision as a community would drive their assistance to us. So whatever our vision is of the kind of community that we want to be that would drive their uh, their assistance to us. I specifically asked them about project management, about three different things. Project management assistance was one thing. The reason being because I realized as we have been doing this that uh, 
Brother Bamani has been pleading with us and pleading with us, committees do your jobs, committed, committees doing your, do your jobs. And yes, there is a problem, you know, with that. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna characterize it as, uh, you know, as something that it isn't. But one of the things I realize is that there are, that it's not just the committee's fault because there are actual gaps in technical expertise that we may need. And I say may because, uh, you know, executive leadership may have more information than I do. So um, I asked them about project management assistance, which would give us a step-by-step -step process of what it takes to build a subdivision in Ghana or a community or a community in Ghana. And, and they uh, said that, well, the requirement for us them to go in that much, they would give me a general overview, but the requirement to go into detail on that will require them to have a copy of our business registration and our uh, indenture showing that, reflecting that um, Black Star is, has the legal authority to engage in um, conversations with, with them about that as well as to do the work. In other words, that we have the legal authority to engage in any work that they would, um, that they would suggest and that we would want to do, for lack of a better way of putting it. So, um, but it would give us the step-by-step -step process of everything that we needed to do, the project management plan, all of the tasks, all of the resources, quantities of materials, uh, and, I'm, and, and that includes infrastructure all the way from the gutters to the, um, to the lamp posts. And, and the, we did not go deeply into funding because once again, I can't do that on behalf, I don't have the authority to get into things too deeply with them because I don't have that authority. But they were, they were descriptive enough to, let, to suggest that how all of that will be funded would be through, uh, it would be built, like the cost of infrastructure would be built into the cost of the house. So, you know, it's not like we would have to, it didn't seem, but once again, I was limited. It didn't seem that we would have to engage in building a capital fund to a great extent. It, there may be something to that effect, but it was not presented that um, fully to me in my, in my conversation with them. But they did tell me some important things that I thought would be important to the community. And I know that we are already kind of deeply into this. And once again, because I didn't, I was unable to, uh, register us with the BRC, I couldn't get some specific information like what is, you know, what are the things that are absolutely legal that we must comply with? What are the compliance issues in terms of what we're doing and the things that we absolutely must do? Or what are the things that are optional? So I did not get into that level. Hopefully, if the group decides that they want more information, they you know, we can use the process that's in place for the group to decide that. But I'll give you what I have um, as much as I could from the, uh, from the uh, meeting. And I, in that meeting, as I said before, the general manager was included and also the business development and marketing manager. Uh, so I met with the two of them. And I will say that they, was, they were very warm in terms of their reception and very, uh, I would say, proactive in terms of wanting to help us become the success that our vision would lead us to be. So the project management um, assistance was the first thing. The second thing I asked for was business planning support. Bomani had shared his business plan with me. I did read through it and I noticed there were some gaps where we needed assistance like uh, managerial accounting experience to help us with our pro forma uh, financial projections over the next three, five years, whatever we decide. Uh, so that was one of the things that I asked them 
if they could help us get the assistance that we need to be able to do that, because we need to have very, very uh, good cost information so that we would know how to plan. And they said that that was one of the things that they would definitely be able to work with us. And then as far as specific technical expertise, like structural engineers or architects or uh, what they called a quantity surveyor, uh, they would be able to uh, help us locate people that could help us in those areas. Um, as I said, we have to be registered as a business entity, which is being worked on. We have to have uh, our land papers or our indenture has to be in order. And they indicated that they will be willing to make a presentation to the group on uh, what they would like to do and what is needed. And possibly at that time, you could get more definitive information on the legal requirements, which is the, question, the looming question that I have that has not yet been answered. And they said um, that we're, it sounded like from what I told them that we were at the point of where a survey needed to be a plot, needed to do the plot layout, which that is underway now, as you know, Bamani just shared uh, that with you. But they also said that we needed a topographical survey to determine the physical features of the land that we needed to be aware of, such as hills, drainage, elevation, trees, water sources, et cetera, that could impact our, bu our building decisions. And also they talked about um, with hills, and I don't know to what extent being a hill is a, you know, is a factor for us, but, the, but we need to know in advance what kind of draining, drainage issues might exist. They said here in Ghana, uh, mud, mudslides and erosion can be become um, problematic. So as much information as we have in advance of those potentialities, then we can make plans in the design uh, of the community to mit uh, mitigate those problems. They also mentioned the fact that, and I think this might be a legal requirement, that uh, we have to have service plots. So what that means is that not every single plot can be a home site. There will be some plots that will cannot be home. They cannot be home sites and must be service plots. And to that, to get into a deeper discussion of what a service plot is, you know, that's something that I would need to do a follow up um, discussion on. But they had mentioned that. So one of my thoughts about that is since we're allocating plots then the one thing we need to find out is what is the legal requirement in terms of service plots? You know, how do they determine, how is it determined that a plot mm -hmm. will be a service plot? Um, you know, and, and how, yeah, and you know, and how, how is that determined? So that's, that's one of the lingering questions that I do have. Um, also, they said that we needed an architect to develop an overarching plan for the community. And that means that we would have a description of where all the homes would be, what the homes, you know, what kinds of homes, like if we're gonna have some multifamily housing, where the multifamily housing is, where the, the single family, where the two stories, two story houses are, he, emphasized to me that that is important to the aesthetics of the community because you don't want to have a, you don't want to build in a way that uh, your, that you build say an apartment, I will say a fourplex that's going to block the view of your, of a family that has a one story that's close to, you know, that's, that's nearby. So, um, and I think those service plots have something to do with safety too, like fire department uh, accessibility and so forth, getting, you know, just to mention that. But anyway, the architect would do the overall plan and also manage, and this is the second time I've heard this, is that uh, we need architects and perhaps they are already built in. I heard mention of, of uh, architects. 
but the architects are the ones who manage the builders. They're the ones that keep the builders honest in terms of, of what, of being true to your building plans and so forth. So the architects, as I understand it, kind of ma uh, manage the builders and the, the general architect project manages, you know, the whole process. Um, he mentioned that a business plan would be developed in consultation with a quantity survey surveyor that would uh, help us to determine all of the quantities and everything that we need for the of materials and so forth that we need for everything that we want to do. He said it needs to be a team effort consisting of the architect, plot surveyor, which we already have in place, a structural engineer, quantity surveyor, and then other contractors and technical experts on as we need them. And, the, and they emphasized to me that as, as a, a client, if, if the Black Star is their client, then they are, they have a fiduciary with us to try to, to represent us in advocating for our interest and ensuring that we're not being overcharged and that the construction is being implemented as planned and also with integrity. So I guess that kind of sums up what I, you know, the important points of my visit with them. So I hope it's been helpful to the group. I will continue to work with them at your direction and only at your direction. So I am at a standstill with following up on any of the questions that I mentioned until such time as Black Star authorizes me to do so or authorizes someone else to do so. So thank you for your attention and I hope this has been helpful. Uh, greetings, uh, Sister Kaladi. Appreciate your energy and uh, appreciate your feedback. Now, Richard, um, uh, what do we, would you like to share any information in reference to what um, uh, Kaladi was explaining? Because that's where we're looking to go to, and we want to make sure that everything is in place to achieve the help that we need. As I said, let's get the company registration. It is very essential. That will be the commencement of our engagement with those um, government entities. So let's get the company registration sorted out. Uh, I have my deadline, my Wednesday deadline, so that with the company reg registration, that is when we can proceed to uh, engage the government um, in respect of the registration of the land and other uh, activities. So for now, let's get the um, let, let's get a company registration, and we'll proceed from there. You see, and um, everything she has said, uh, I, I, it's it's that is what is happening on the ground. What you need to do is um, decide on the your choice of a builder or. The, your uh, architectural uh, masterpiece and all that. You have to engage someone who, who would undertake that job for you. Then because um, you would need those things, especially with respect to your permits. When, when you want to obtain a building permit, uh, depending on the structure or the house you want to build, you would have to present copies of your, your architectural drawing for scrutiny. And then they will ask um, for other documents. That is at the, at the permits um, um, with what we call the local assembly. Before they will issue a permit to you, you would have to go through some formalities and one essential requirement you would need is your, your building plan. This is so, um, at this point, 
uh, what we call the building plan is uh, what we call the, um, I mean, in other words, the architectural drawings. You see, so, but I spoke with Nana and Nana said, um, he has already, he, he spoke with them in respect of your building permit. So what we'll do is, I don't know if Mr. Kobner is on the line. Um, we'll have to liaise with Nana in respect of your building permits because um, he made mention that uh, he's already uh, engaging them on that, your building permits issue so that there, there wouldn't be any um, undue delays and any um, impediments with respect to obtaining the permits or if better still um, a grace period or to extend the time for you to, to, to provide um, or prepare your building permits. So I'll have to get clarity on that from Nana and then I'll communicate same to um, the Bumani, maybe the next time we can discuss that. But what I know is the building permits, Nana says he's working on it. So if you can allow, allow us a couple of days to get through to Nana and get clarity on this. So... I right, well, appreciate, appreciate it, here, Richard. And I have then, a question. The last thing, uh, the last thing I, I want to say, oh, go ahead, Kaladi. Uh, Richard, can you shed yeah. any light on this subject? The, BR, the BRC said that we needed an overall design for the whole community. Is that a legal requirement? Because no, uh, he's it's, in a it's town and country council. Well, he said that council had to approve it. The town the, and country council. The, the, the town and country, uh, they, they are mandated by law to uh, regulate the siting of, of certain infrastructures. So um, you cannot site, a, 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 let's say, a factory, a factory within a residential neighborhood you would you would so they they are they are in charge of layouts to um to make sure that certain um vicinities are mainly for something uh, so that there wouldn't be the, the situation where everything is mixed up together so that's exactly what i understand yeah. Yes, so the, that's the, 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 the work of the town and country. Uh, these days, they've even changed their, their name. They said they are an authority. But basically, that is what they are there to do. And that's why, if you want to build, you would need to go to them so that they would make sure that where, where you want to site a residential facility, it is not earmarked for, let's say, a factory or maybe something that's uh, it's not conducive for human uh, uh, habitation. So their they are, they are core mandate is to make sure that- So, okay, uh, so it does to me that we need to submit something in terms of the uh, architectural representation of the design, the overall design. Well, the, basically, basically we are, we are using the land for residential and recreational um, mm -hmm. purpose. So, um, and if if that is why I am saying they issue the permits. With the permits, Nana says that because because you see what you are doing is a novelty. Um, Nana Nana says the, he wants to contact them so that they would see um how to 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 um help speed up things than going through all this bureaucracy and all that uh -huh. you see so that is why i said let me let me because all these things they are asking for they are all bureaucratic slowdowns uh -huh. because <laughs> that is why nana said he's engaging them on that so if you could uh, give me a day or two let me get through to Nana on this um, permit thing, and then I'll let you know because I know he has 
um, there is some engagement going on between Nana and those people to, to remove some of the requirements so that your permits can, can, can be issued um, with cheeky ease. So that um, you know, we don't we don't go through um, um, all these um, bureaucracy and back and forth and paperwork and see, so that is that is what I know. So I'll, I'll contact you now and give you feedback. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, perfect, uh, Richard and Kaladi. Perfect, you guys are uh, finished sharing your uh, presentation. Yes. All right, so perfect. So uh, let me just open things up for questions uh, for um, Kaladi and also for Rich, uh, Attorney Richard. Uh, so, and all right. So the first person, go ahead. All right, we'll just wait until someone speaks. Yes. Also, also, Kwabna, are you uh, up, available? Yes, on the line. Yeah, because we still need to hear from Kwabna. So, but uh, until Kwabna chimes in, um, we're just accepting questions for Richard and Kaladi. Um, I'm, it looks like, Errol's saying he can't get unmuted. Errol can't get unmuted. And JFK needs to be unmuted too. Right. Perfect, there you go. Let's try that right there. Was, Hello, this is Ma from Bona. Hey, greetings. Yeah, that was to make sure that we had no interruptions so that we have, you know, now that we've all spoken, uh, everyone take your time and uh, address your questions. Yes. Um, first of all, uh, to Councillor Richard, uh, thank you for your service to our community. We appreciate everything you've done thus far. Um, um, my first, um, I just have some input as far as the glitch. Um, um, I'm just speaking as um, one investor. I don't know if the others uh, would feel the same way, but um, if and whenever you encounter a glitch, it's okay with me if you send a message to Bamani or to Barbara and they can forward it to the group as to that you've encountered a glitch and what it looks like and you know that your remedy actions are being undertaken um is that possible Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, it, it is a part of our uh, culture uh, to be in the know. And even if it's bad news, it's okay. Um, because we know that even in the midst of bad news that uh, glitches can be worked out. Mm -hmm. But um, um, it helps us manage our expectations and uh, to uh, alleviate any uh, nervousness or what have you that, hey, you know, there's been a glitch with the paperwork. Um, we won't judge you for that, but um, we just need to know that the process is working and where we are in the process because you are our hands and feet, our eyes and our ears on the ground as it pertains to legal matters. And as such, um, the body needs to know what, what, what we're experiencing. And then could you also um, share with us, what was the glitch? What was that technical glitch? And could you explain in detail, please? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't know, but um, what I know is uh, the, 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 there was a change of, um, I think, the, the, the forms, and then there was a technical glitch, though no business registration was, was undertaken for some time. Um, maybe, I, 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 as you said, I sent a link of that um problem i think in in i sent a link some time back let me see um my convo with bomani um I, I i i remember i did so but the most important thing now is i have given you the assurance that by wednesday i'm 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 sure to receive the the the, the said registration it will be completed. So let's give ourselves up to this Wednesday. In any event, um, if we have it even in the course of this week, whatever legal activity you want to undertake with it can be done even um, in the course of next week, even before the, the year uh, grinds to a halt on, um, uh, on um, December 31st, whatever you want to, if from with the company registration, if um, the, 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 the required fee for the re, um, land registration at Cape Coast is ready, we can start the process there. Whatever you want to do with the company registration that is in, um, in relation to opening a bank account, you can do the bank account in Ghana is done in a day, in a matter of hours, even not up to an hour. Once you have the business registration, less than an hour, you can have a, a, a bank account duly opened in the name of um, the group, that's Black Star. If you want to proceed with the registration of the initial 15 acres, with that registration, you, you, are, you are good to go. And then um, if, um, you, if your any engagement with, with the state, with uh, other legal institutions, be it banks and what have you, your, your, your locus, your locus is your, your, your company registration. That's what clothes you with the legal capacity to proceed. So let's give ourselves this week. I have given you up to the, um, up to mid week. We'll have it sort of just then sorted out. So um, let's give okay. ourselves. Okay, um, uh, Councillor Richard, I, I get that part. Um, but, I, but I was just saying, you know, moving forward, because we're learning our new home, we're learning the society in which we're moving into. And we're going to be uh, sharing lessons learned to those who come behind us. Mm -hmm. So if we miss dotting an I or crossing a T or putting a period at the end of the sentence, whatever the glitch or the misstep is, um, if you could just share it to us. And I get it that you may have sent it earlier. It might've it might gotten lost in the shuffle, but... Um, if you could uh, just please keep us informed. And then my next request is to um, Aya, Sister Aya. Um, is it possible that we could get a checklist of, I, I heard something about fiduciary responsibility um, with the government. Um, could we get a checklist, like a builder's list, so to speak, of all of the government agencies it doesn't have to be fancy, or maybe uh, Richard could prepare it for us. I don't know where this would land or would, whether it be planning and development within our own committees, but we need a checklist that you need to speak to this government agency about the dimensions of your home and where it is, or um, you need to speak to this organization, be whatever that unit is within the Ghanaian government as far as um, price control. I, I keyed in on that one. Um, you know, just, just the checklist that we as homeowners, property owners 
need to talk to with the government to make sure that we have our eyes dotted and our cross T's crossed. Over. Hello, uh, Dr. Ask you call, uh, uh, speaking. Um, I liked uh, the presentation that she gave. Um, from a builder's perspective, uh, that is actually the way to go. Yeah. Uh, to make sure that you have every cross, you just don't want to go out into a desert and build homes, um, what have you. You need to have technically, and I've been asking this all along. You yes, need to have the infrastructure already in place. If you have infrastructure and the roads already there, and the plots laid out, you would get a quicker response and what have you. I still believe that we can work with the government and also maybe deal some uh, with the water situation and the sewage and what have you. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, I haven't heard it yet, but uh, according to what she's saying, that group is willing to help us. And I'm all for that. And I'm willing even to, uh, if the cost goes into the, uh, to the house where everybody is uh, paying the, the additional cost in their home, that would bring in all those uh, different entities, you know, the lights and the mm -hmm. uh, gas and all that. So if it costs me $10,000 and everybody's paying 10, we can go and get this project going. Uh, you know, so that's, that's kind of my take, I, you know, from a builder's perspective, because I built, uh, like I say, a, a property. So that's what I usually do. So I, I like that presentation. And I, I definitely would want to see that happen to us. And if I have to be involved in that, I'll be happy to be involved in it. Thank you. I have a question for lawyer Richard. Um, are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? He took a break. I, I hear you. I hear you, Sister Moore. And I, I can hear you. Oh, OK. I, I thought maybe he, it did. He stepped away from the screen. <laughs> OK. Well, right, I'm I looking for Richard. I'm looking for him. All right, because uh, what I'm trying to do is get Kwabna on the line. Oh, there he is. Uh, Richard, uh, uh, okay. Sister uh, Lauren, can you please uh, repeat your question so Richard can uh, hear it and answer it? Yes, uh, Attorney Richard, I, um, I heard you say that you were giving a certain entity a time to respond to you by Wednesday regarding the registration. But if they were not able to do whatever it is that they need to do, that you would get someone else to do it. And that they, they wouldn't be paid. Um, how, are, how are you selecting folks to get this job done? What was it that they're not, that they weren't able to do that you feel there, some there, there, is, there is a huge backlog that they are working on. There is a huge backlog, and um, in the normal scheme of things, it would it would it would have taken a bit of time, but I had to go the extra mile to 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 speed up things. With of course you work with an official, so I I just to speed up things. So that's fine. Um, I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh, hoping that. I'm hoping that by by Wednesday I'll get it because um, this new application that we submitted that was about um, it's not up to three weeks though it's about two weeks yes so um, I'm hoping that it will not be up to three weeks um, that's why we 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 we've all agreed that by Wednesday I should have it. So if it's a backlog, how will someone, some other company be able to do it? There, 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 there is a way out. The, the most important thing is I can't speak for them, but what I have been assured is by Wednesday, I would have my, 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 my um, registration. Okay, and the registration yeah. and the permit is something different, right? 
No, there are two different things. The registration of the entity, the company, Black Star okay. Pan African Community, it is a legal entity. So as your sister said, we register what you call LLC. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Limited, limited liability company, yes. So we are registering it so that um, by law, it will have legal capacity to now act the business with the government. Mm -hmm. You see, because with that legal capacity and acting as if it were a living being, it can buy properties, it can, it can, it can do anything. Mm -hmm. That's uh, maybe not anything, but right. uh, yeah. um, it, it can't do um, uh, virtually. It can open a bank account. It can um, acquire um, additional properties, engage in businesses, just like a normal human being. You see, so that entity ought to be registered. That is why by Wednesday, when we have it now, we are going to register the land with Cape Coast Lands Commission as if the, the entity is a living being who has bought a property and wants to, or a land and wants to, to register with that, that um, government um, office. That's the Cape Coast Lands Commission. So the, 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 the starting point for our any legal engagement, apart from your lease with Nana, the outside world, you need to register the company to be able to deal with any other um, uh, office. But of course, as it stands now, the, the, the group has purchased a land from the chief. There is a, a, a uh, an agreement, like I said, that recognizes that okay, the the the, the group has bought this land from Nana. However, going forward, we will need the 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 the, the certificates to to proceed in other matters. So let's give ourselves up to Wednesday, when when the certificate is out, then whatever whatever is right and proper to be done using the the the, the certificates it, 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 will, it will be done but for now let's wait till, till. in fact um but um the fact that um uh, tomorrow is a holiday in ghana i i would say I, i'm 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 trying to 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 see if i can get it by uh, Tuesday, but because of the holiday, that's why um, I was assured that by Wednesday I'll have it. So let's let's see up to Wednesday, and then after Wednesday, whatever you want to do with the the entity, if you want to buy additional land, if you want to buy, if you want to engage in any business activity, you want to any anything legal, we we, we can use the, the the entity to buy. To, to undertake that. So let's let's wait for the certificate to come out. Yeah, thank you. Brother Lapo, I had a question for you concerning the indenture. Is the indenture the same thing as a land title certificate? No, no. no? Is a no. land certificate needed in addition to the indenture in order to make sure that we have uh, possession of that? So, so the land, the, the indenture is the primary document that uh, the landowner in this case the chief executed to signify that I am the owner of this land and um, I, I, I hereby lease this land to this group of people 
for a period of 99 years. The size of the land is 15 acres. So that primary document is what we call an indenture or a lease document. Now, when you have that document with your, with your company registration, you would now go to the government, the government office in charge of land, land administration. And it's a registry where lands are kept with the, with the, with the or not, title of lands, title owners, the, where they, they are, their records are kept with the government. So once we buy, we, we, we have this 15 acre piece of land from the chief. We have an indenture. Now we would apply to have our name registered on the land. So of course the Cape Coast, they will ask of our company registration because what, what, what shows that we are, we, we are, we are a, a legal entity, what shows that we, we have been duly um, registered by the state as in um, uh, incorporation of, of a limited liability company. So with that, that, that uh, certificates of incorporation and our land title, our, our indenture from the chief, we would now start processing and uh, I mean the, 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 we'll go through the activities leading to registration of the land in our name. Because as it stands now, Nanes' name is there, as the, um, this land belongs to the uh, people of Jazi. And of course, the Nana is the custodian of Jazi land. So if you conduct a search as of today, you will find a Jazi name on the land. So now we will have to um, take steps to go to the government and tell the government that we have acquired portion of um, Jazzy land, 15 acres. This is the size, these are the coordinates. And this is a primary document which shows that Nana, the chief of Jazzy, has given us that land. So that, that is what we call an indent. Oops. Unfortunately, um, um, the feed may have died, died. but uh, nevertheless, uh, our family, um, all right, what is going on? Okay, myself, all right. All right, everyone, let me reset this thing up. All right, uh, everybody is good. Um, just trying to see if anybody have any more questions. Uh, that way we can just disconnect from this uh, main session. I'm trying to get Kwabna to come on so you can talk about uh, the land clearing and other things that we have, uh, you know, we have set up um, for clarity as far as what his position is and anyone who want to ask him questions, uh, the same situation. But unfortunately, can't get him on. And I am. I have a question for you. Yeah. I, I just wonder. Um, Can't hear. Yeah. Right, someone's talking Volume very low. Is low. Uh, Gail, you are very low. It's not me speaking. It's me. It's Jeanette. Can you hear me okay? Her volume is low. Is oh, we can't hear you. We can hear everyone else. Can you hear me okay now? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, go ahead until Richard uh, comes on or Kwabna comes on and then we'll close on the uh, meeting. Okay. Okay. So, so my question. So my question. I'm not sure why we have. Everyone, everyone, mute yourself, please. Okay. So can you hear me okay now? Okay. So my question, I know that we are 
um, people are looking at uh, building and and looking at building plans, I just wondered for the community that we have if if there is a zoning. I'm, I'm I'm using U.S. terms. If there's a zoning requirement for the area, that would give us some guidelines as to what we could build. So, for instance, some places, if you're building housing or habitat, then they have restrictions on how high the units can be, and um, you know there's a variety within a category. So, I'm I'm hoping that um, if there are some zoning requirements or parameters that we be provided that because if people are, you know, depending on the design that they want, if they have a plot that wouldn't be the best one to have a two story, if, you know, there are other one story things, it's it, one story um, units that need to be built. It just, it would, it would guide us to help to know where to even place those plots. So I, I don't know if we're missing that overall piece because we don't have a a project manager for the development and maybe these are things that the attorney doesn't handle but perhaps I thought maybe he could tell us what the what the zoning parameters were for the housing that the land is being reserved for. I believe that's what um, Kalade is, is, is talking about with the BRC at least it sounds that way to me. Um, no. It appears that the type of expertise that we'll need to actually supply that information uh, would actually come from the BRC approach that she's taken. So I think that that's something that um, would be included in those services from my recollection of what she said they offer. Right, so I we, this is just regular information that isn't, you know, doesn't belong to any entity, but we should be able to know that. So for instance, if you buy a house in the US it's that house is or that area is zoned for a particular use. So that's before anybody comes. So you ought to be able to know what that is before you even start and you not having to engage an entity. Not, not to say that they won't be helpful, but as people are choosing building plans and they we don't know exactly where the plots are, or maybe you all do. I just, it just seems like that would be useful information for people going forward. So I think it's an answer that can be provided without having to incorporate the services of the BRC. Yeah, this is Malfo. I think that sounds like a good idea that we could decide that internally based upon what's allowed. Right, but we need to know what's allowed and we don't, I don't yep. know that we know that. Uh, Richard, uh, can you unmute yourself? Yes. Yes, uh, trying to get trying to get you to address a few of the last uh, questions and uh, statements, and if anyone needs to repeat themselves, uh, Richard is uh, live. Okay, Richard, I I had a question for you, and it was in re reference to zoning uh, requirements, restrictions, or parameters for the housing. No, I cannot. I'm I'm sorry, I cannot speak to that. The zoning okay. that is a technical exercise undertaken by um, a government agency. I, I, I cannot speak to that. Who, who could? I, maybe. But when, 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 when it is time to, for, for the building to be raised, the, 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 the permits at the permit stage, you have officials with the required expertise to address you on all your, your, your concerns. That is a technical um, um, decision. It is not legal. So, okay. Let, yes. I'm sorry. Let yes. me read, and, I'm, I, and I apologize. I'm using terms from the US with the understanding that it may not be this or try to build in any particular area. 
areas have been zoned for a particular development. So I'm not talking about individuals, although I think it will help individuals to know what they can and can't do. So for instance, if I bought uh, in Cameroon, for instance, where we have plots where that are zoned for housing, it's maybe it's Habitat 3, and it tells you, you know, you can have housing of th this nature in this particular development. And I wondered if there were any such requirements that are attached to the land. So it would be a very specific, I mean, a thing that's general, but I don't know, this land hasn't been developed. So I don't, but my question is, is just that, um, so that people before they start building, because it will determine where they're gonna be placed in the, in the whole development, if they do a two story, if they would like a two story house or a one story or what have you. So I'm sorry if I'm asking you <laughs> something outside of your framework, but I thought it would be because you do real estate law. Um, the, the, the fact of the matter is, you see, what you are asking is in the remix of permits. And I am saying that with this um, Jazzy land, Nana says he's in talks with them for a special dispensation. I am not privy to whatever Nana has discussed with them. So I, I, I said that let me get clarity on the chief and then I'll relay it to you, to your, 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 your leaders or to Bumani. So for now, um, Nana says because of the, the you coming in and he, he, he wants to fast track things for you, He's already engaged them on that. But Nana is not ordinarily um, present here in Accra. He goes outside Accra and comes back. So this weekend, I couldn't get through to him. I said, let me get clarity on Nana as to what he's been doing so far with respect to your permit. Then, because Nana, Nana has... Um, uh, all the details and the architectural drawings of the entire, even the demarcation of plots and everything. He has all those details. So obviously he's working with all those details and I have to get feedback from him as to what his engagement with um, the, the, the land, the permit, the local assembly, how, how things fit. And I'll let you know. But for now, um, I'm unable to tell you anything beyond that. Yes, Councillor Richard, um, could you give us a reasonable estimate as to when you can get back to us um, after you have researched that information? By, by Friday, by, 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 by Friday, because I know um, Nana will be in town coming weekend. So Friday, Friday, he usually comes around during um, the weekend. But um, this weekend, I think um, he couldn't make it to Accra. But I know next, next week, Friday, he should be in. So when I'm done with him on Friday, by Saturday, I'll let you have every information. Yes, um, uh, uh, Councillor uh, Richard, we know that Chiefs are really busy and they're um, attending to local matters. Um, if Sunday is a better time or even Monday morning, that's fine. I was just trying to get a, a roundabout, you know, uh, reasonable expectation as to when we could get an answer. And we understand that uh, you have a, a um, a uh, external dependency, so to speak, the control keeps calendar and when he can receive you, you know. So um, I know you said Friday, but you know, Sunday, Monday morning, that's fine. Get the weekend. Thank you. 
Um, this is yeah. Diora. I have a question, um, and my apologies if this has already been addressed, but it seems like there's lots of uh, work streams that are in parallel, though the initial or the immediate deadline or date of importance is Wednesday, but there's different um, like agencies, it sounds like, might, that are engaged in this process. Is it too much to ask if it's not already been suggested as a project plan? So we kind of, and we could see the dependencies, we can see the different work streams in parallel. So we know what's kind of going on that way, um, instead of like, this is the next step. And we just have to wait until the next step. This is the next step, just so we can have an overall vision. Some of us um, think that way with PM backgrounds, but um, has this been suggested already? Did y'all hear me? Yes, I heard you. And that was part of the point of what I was saying about the BRC, that they would help us project management the development. And with that would be a project management plan. Yes, and everyone, what Kaladi is doing is she's uh, trying to build a foundation where she's presenting something. So that's what I talk about, that some of us are taking initiative, but uh, we have to move on something uh, that uh, we can just make work. So. Whether we want to use them or organize it ourselves, um, we just have to, you know, you know talk amongst ourselves. But uh, Richard, uh, what do you think? So let me see what our. Unfortunately, he is not on. Will we be, um, Bomani? Will we be voting on that uh, on this call, or would you schedule a call so that we can um, find out how we're going to proceed with that? Uh, yes, it's something that we have to one person present it and the rest of us have to vote on it. So, uh, I mean, anyone and I think there's two, um, go ahead. And I think yeah. there's two issues here. One is moving forward with the BRC to manage, uh, manage it, but um, I'm asking for um, a project management plan. So <laughs> if we have the expertise, the I just would think that, that would help. The BRC would help us generate the ma project management plan. I couldn't hear. Sorry. Kaladi, can you repeat yourself? I said the BRC would help us. We're talking about something like a Gantt chart. The BRC would help us generate that. Uh, and then um, we would have, and with that, also some weekly report outs or bi-weekly report outs. Not necessarily a, you know, full-on um, community meeting, but just report out, but just status reports. Where are we? This is, you know, we're red, which means we are at a halt here. We're green, we're green, you know, just so we know how things are progressing against these various work streams. Uh, perfect. Anyone else uh, wants to share their opinion or their idea how they feel? Um, this is Mafo. Um, I'm available to help uh, build a Gantt chart, no problem. However, I'm at a disadvantage, I feel, because um, I'm in Maryland. We'll zoom um, you in. <laughs> Thank you, my sister. <laughs> I, like, I like the BRC approach um, because they are Ghanaians and they, they know a lot about what what is is legal and what the process is. I mean, we, we've been talking in my committee about things to do, but we don't necessarily know what, what is conducive in Ghana. But I think with the BRC and that project management piece, you know, they've already, according to Kaladi's um, presentation, already answered some questions that I've had about, you know, heights of of the uh, houses and how do we determine what's allowable and what's not. So I, I actually do like that approach. Right, perfect. Uh, next uh, person. Um, this is Mafo. I think what we've identified here is this is a multidisciplinary uh, approach. Um, where you'd have the government entities, you'd have our own subject matter experts who are versed in 
uh, home building uh, and the follow on disciplinaries, but this is clearly a multidisciplinary approach. And we have to open up, we have to build those networks so that the right people are talking to each other at the appropriate time. And we have to um, install some milestones, uh, a project calendar, for lack of a better term. You know, um, but that, that, that's what I see is needed. Over. All right, excellent. Um, so since we're, um, I'm waiting for, let me see if Kwabena is on the line connected. Uh, oh, go ahead, uh, Kamal. Yeah, um, at the last time he was on the Zoom call, he mentioned that the company to be registered needed to <laughs> That's what, that, that the company to be registered needed a TIN number? Uh, yes, a uh, uh, tax identification yeah. number. Which the company uh, to be registered. Uh, so, yes, uh, and that's something that he'll work out also. And yeah. as soon as he gets back on, we'll have him um, verify the information. Go ahead. All right, so uh, next uh, person, uh, just trying to get some feedback from everyone and uh, win for Kwabna to uh, chime in. Uh, Bomani, I think that Kwabna is having some trouble. I keep seeing uh, messages come through with, from him saying that the line is bad. So maybe he's on the community site. Uh, yes, I see uh, <laughs> the message. Um, it's been well anyway uh i guess we worked that out another uh, day so for now everyone just um open up and just share in an open forum uh, as far as in reference to what richard and uh Kaladi talk about then we'll just cut to a private feed and uh, stop the re recording and then maybe since he can't come on um, those questions that we had that, you know, he can address, maybe you can get them to him, Bomani, and then you can get back with us with his response. Oh, uh, yes, uh, you know, this is one of the situations where we, we're trying to record everyone. That's the kind, that's the game. Everyone has to be recorded, saying what they need to be said in a public recording, uh, because all of this is self-accountability. It's a whole lot of people, money, and investments, and livelihood at stake, and I'm trying to make myself accountable also. But um, anything that uh, we need to talk to Pablo about and what he's worked on, uh, we can just set up another conference call yeah. when it's uh, better. But um, we need to hear from everyone that's, yeah. uh, including uh, Nana, eventually we'll get Nana on. But everyone need to, who's represent us as a community need to let us know what they're doing. And we need to keep posted on what they're doing because they're all getting paid, right. including Nana. Nana is getting um, the land and so on. Okay. I'd like to speak if possible. Oh, uh, sure, uh, sure uh, Dr. Askew, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think what what I see now is this is a very comprehensive project. It's not to be done in a hurry. It's going to take a lot of planning, getting with the right sources and what have you. So I look at it as a comprehensive, you know, networking, uh, getting with the right people, so when this project is done, we'll be uh, a great community in Ghana. But if we, ha if we have to rush and don't have the proper uh, systems in place, uh, then it, it'll be a mess. But I'm all for it. But I think this is a more of a comprehensive, a lot of answers need to be, a lot of questions need to be answered as well. So I'm all for it, but I wanna let everybody know this is a very comprehensive situation because you, you really need to do also a land boring uh, to make sure that the, the water is, is safe. Uh, you know, it's a lot of things that's involved in these type of projects. So that's what, that's my take right now. It's very comprehensive. Thank you. Um, uh, Brother Bomani, this is my fault. Um, I totally agree with Dr. Askew. Um, 
I think that we need to have a, a, a breakout meeting or subcommittee meeting, if you will, with planning and development the right players um, because you have a lot of moving parts here and you have a lot of dependencies where um, when you talk about games, uh, uh, the flow where one uh, action has to occur first before follow-on actions can occur. That's called a water uh, time. Um, and clearly, this is a water flow or cascade. Oh, yes. There needs to be seeing people can't continue meeting tractors and getting development plans going. Hello? Test Hello? one, two, test. Test one, two, test. Loud and clear. All right, test one, two. Okay. Uh, we have too um, many people speaking at one point. And okay. Two uh, help, uh, everyone, uh, this one person at a time. Yeah, what I was saying was is that um, you have a model called the cascade, where you have one action that must occur before follow on actions can concur, can occur secondary or tertiary to that first action. Um, and so we need to have a breakout meeting subsequent to this meeting so that the right people are in the room talking to each other. Uh, so I leave it to planning and development to decide who those people need to be. Um, and, we, and we can design those actions, over. Exactly, and that's the point of everything we're doing. Uh, that's why we are uh, designed uh, 10 committees. So almost 100% of everything has to be done by the committee uh, or subcommittee. So uh, we just got to literally get in our committees and talk amongst ourselves and just, you know, work things out. Uh, but um, like I mentioned, I'm open for what we as a group want to do. And um, beyond that, I'm, my goal is to just get the people that we have um, assigned to do certain things to just get the job done. So right now I'm waiting for Kwabna to either get on or we'll connect them on another call, but um, I want us to just be in complete uh, sync with, with a, a certain game plan where we can just get our, our project done. Because last thing we need is just drama or anything that's stopping us. We're on a move and, you know, there's a, I've been hearing about black folks coming together, building a community forever. And it's just, when you do the research and find out what happens, it's heartbroken. We are, you know, all it takes is a group of us because at the end of the day, there's no, you know, there's no, no white monkey in the room. So it's just all of us got to just work it out. So that's what's set up. So um, let me just uh, go over Kwabena part and what he has done. Uh, he has organized all of the building um, and builders. That way, uh, the builders are clear, <laughs> like literally clear the fact that we don't have time for games and things like that. So. Uh, he can explain that more in detail in another time. As a matter of fact, I see him on here. Let me see if I can get him to unmute himself. And uh, he worked on a project to clear the land and to make sure the surveyor is clear on that we need 15 to 50 acres connected and a whole bunch of complicated stuff that um, we're not this, you know, this is things that we just have done research and, and, and work together to figure out. So. So far, so good, but we're open to whatever professional help that anyone may agree on. And Kwabna, just uh, speak as soon as you can hear me. I can hear you now. This is Kwabna. I Kwabna, appreciate you. It's our judgment day and trying to get everybody to speak on what they're doing because we've been working on this project for 15 months and I mock Garvey Town all the time, so 16 years of failure and they're gonna, they're gonna go to their grave with me, you know, with those things. Uh, but it's like, it's, it's, it's one of my biggest motivation. And I want us to always just be honest with everyone on what we have done and what we're committed to doing so we can get this project done. So share your part as far as clearing the land, as far as working with the surveyor and the other thing, as far as talking with the builders and what we have set up, the ones that I've talked to and then you have talked to. 
Thank you so much, my brother, and greetings to you all. This is Kovina. Um So far, you know, the, uh, the 15 acre land has been graded and uh, we did it that one in September. And, um, and now it has started, you know, uh, growing a little bit. Uh, with the 50 acres uh, that is coming up, um, I'm just waiting for the surveyor to uh, finish with his work and then get the, um, the document and then uh, uh, it will be ready also for clearing. Um, I did all that I could after interviewing the uh, builders and then even the shipping company, um, an interview was conducted, several interviews. I traveled to the, uh, here and there to their offices to see the work that they have done. Uh, some of them I went there to inspect the type of building that he put up and a whole lot. Then I tried as much as I could to, uh, for those who are here, our brothers and sisters who are here, I ring a meeting with them. Uh, so far, I've been able to arrange four meetings with them, including the builders. And the builders came over. Uh, we, they spoke to them, they presented their companies and whatnot. And several questions were also asked and they answered all. Uh, I also had a meeting with the Soviet and brought the Soviet to where our brothers and sisters are at Winneba. And when I drove there, uh, we all had a meeting and uh, they also presented what they have as a surveyor. And I always tell them that everybody should get their contacts and they had their contacts and the surveyor also have to present himself and then what he has done so far uh, for us to take off. But I think somewhere along the line, somewhere along the, somewhere along the line, uh, the plans has to be changed have to be changed because of the old Soviet. The old Soviet, the layout that he gave, you know, was faulty. So Nana saw that and Nana changed the Soviet. And when he changed, Nana brought in Evans. So when Nana brought in Evans, Nana was working with Evans. So it was Evans who did everything, he was there with me, I was there with him, I took pictures and everything and sent out. Um, currently, uh, I'm, uh, myself and Evans has been on the land, we told Nana, in connection with the uh, road that leads to the, the land. So Nana has given uh, an approval for the Soviet to go and then, you know, uh, uh, survey where the road is going to be. And I was there with him, we went there and he showed, he saw the place, he did, he brought his machine, did everything. Uh, we are just waiting um, for the uh, uh, money to be ready so that the machine will clear the land. God willing, on your arrival on 29th, then you see that that place also has been cleared. A street has been paved from the roadside to the land where we drove past, uh, we walked past last year. So, so far, so good. These are the things that we've done. And so far, so good. And uh, that's what I've done. I appreciate you, Kwabna. Uh, you stopped because there's a noise and I'm trying to find it. Uh, uh, Kwabna, go ahead and continue. Yeah. So as I've said, um, we are currently, I'm um, just waiting uh, on the Soviet for the uh, uh, search. And then 
The second one also is waiting, uh, as already spoken to the machine operators who are going to pave the way from the roadside that when the bus arrive, we will drive through that place all to the land where the land is. It's not going to be dropping you on the other side and we'll take a long walk to the land, no, but it's going to be a driving. So far as money is being given for uh, the machine to start uh, uh, working to pave the way uh, on 29th on your arrival, when you, before you arrive, you see that the thing has been done. The road has been paved. Thank you. All right, uh, Corbin, I appreciate your energy, man. Let me uh, flip to this uh, speaker mode. Uh, thanks for explaining all that complicated stuff. So family, myself, Corbin, uh, Attorney Richard uh, is all working in your energy along with uh, Nana and the surveyor to pull this off. So um, we're just basically just building a foundation of what's really going on. And then for those who want to join force and you know do a little bit more, it's, it's all good. Um, but uh, that's you know, uh, we as we as a community uh, using the committee. That's what uh, we can work towards to either hire, recruit, or do certain things ourselves. But um, honestly, it's just up to us. Uh, so we're gonna work on what we all agreed on, and uh, everyone have us on a recorded call. And uh, next time we do another conference call, maybe in a month or so, we'll be able to just give a better update. Um, someone is speaking. Uh, this week, uh, did someone say something? All right, but anyway, um, anyone have any questions uh, for Kwabina? Um, uh, that way we can just clear up anything. And also, I'm just give you a quick overview. Uh, Kwabina is also someone that uh, I've known for 13 years doing tours and everything. So what we have to uh, work with is, unfortunately, uh, is a trust issue. So you have to find the best people you can trust. So we have a lot of money to deal with and things like that. And my brother has been on point. Only thing is, he's just like myself. We have other things to do. So um, if something is an emergency, you can always reach out to me and I'll get to him. Same thing as Richard. Um, that way we just keep a flow of communication to where, um, and then if you just, you know, for those of us who need to speak to certain people, you know, um, we just keep it going to where you just reach out to myself and a few other people and you can connect to them. But- um, uh, br Brother Amani- Oh, go ahead. Brother Mike, this, this is my fault. Um, and um, my phone may have short circuited my connection, but uh -huh. I had asked I had asked a question of Brother Richard, but I wasn't sure that he gave me an answer because he might have um, lost his Yeah, who knows? He's been uh, disconnected a few times. Right. Uh, yes, yes. Because what, what I have yes. is online as a consultant to share what he's been doing. Well, um, well, my question is, I just wanted to um, highlight that as a part of our culture, we want to be in the loop every step of the way, even oh, if yes. it's bad um, news. Yeah, to, to give updates. So that's what me and Richard uh, does. And uh, we'll just even work it to where uh, they can co uh, communi communicate with a committee, just like there's uh, myself and the chief is in another group. It's, a, it's enough WhatsApp group to where information uh, it shouldn't be stagnant. Uh, but the main thing is as far as um, uh, updates, once uh, Attorney Richard um, finds any information to give us to us, and every time we do presentations and conference calls, all of those updates are basically given to people. So maybe information was leaked or something, but uh, Attorney Richard has explained that to me about the registration, but it's like every time something comes to me, I can't I say, hey, family, this is what's going on. We're trying to work things out where we don't go into panic mode because every time something happens, it's not for a reason to get a reaction, uh, which I've seen in our group chat a few days ago where we basically just, you know, it, it was information about um, the, the situation that Richard mentioned as far as it, it mentioned in detail, which we have recorded, which I'll go back and listen to myself. And it's a simple thing. None of us knows what's going on. So the only thing we can do is just talk amongst ourselves. But 
when we do group forums, that's when all information comes out as we have these long group forums. And trust me, every time all them long recordings we have had, everything that was going on at that moment was always mentioned and talked about up to now. Same thing, uh, Attorney Richard was on the last time, he talked about what we were working towards, trying to get land on the balance and things like that, getting paperwork. And that's what we're going. So I'm letting anyone know if you need any paperwork or anything, uh, let us know so we can get that to you. Only thing that we don't have is what Richard mentioned that he's working on. So other than that, um, uh, anyone have any questions for Kwabna so he can answer? I have a question for Brother Kwabna. Uh, Kwabna, um, go ahead. He stated that oh, a road was paved and I wanna know who paid for that road to be paved. Oh, okay. Now, the, uh, when the, when I was clearing the road, I was, was the one tasked or tasked to clear the road. So when the machine came, the machine passed a certain end to the land to clear the land. But that area, when it rains, the place is muddy. Um, when Barbara and others came, they want to see the land. Uh, that was the place we have to take them through. So uh, the Soviet even bought a uh, rain boots for them. Though it was a little muddy that they walked through to the place. And this is a, 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 a place that um, there is a river which is close by. When it overflow, it banks. It passes through that area. And that is where at that time it wasn't raining. So the machine paved a way through that place. But I'm not saying your land is uh, uh, watery or uh, there's water on the land, no. But where you drive past before you get to the land. But there is another way, there is another route that last year when uh, uh, Bomani came with the group, we have to park the uh, bus somewhere and walk through, walk through that place to where the land is going to be. But currently we are not going to walk, but rather the land at that side, the other side has not been paved. So we have to inform the chief and Nana gave the uh, uh, order or the authorization for us to pave a way at the other side of it so that the bus can drive on to the land when the machine comes and we pave a way. Now, if at that time still there is no rain, now the rain is not coming and the river has not flows it banks, why not? The bus have to pass through the shortest place where the machine paved. But if there is muddy there, then we have to go through the long way that we are about to be paved. I hope I've answered your question. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm clear, thank you. Thank you. And also if you could give Nana our gratitude for that. That's a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sister. I will let him know. And Kwabna, excellent. Um, now we're set for our business conference December 28th and on December 29th, we're set to get to the land and also the orphanage. So uh, this one also connect with you on that. And then anyone that's there in the community that wants to come uh, the night before at the business conference, we'll do our best to get as many builders there. And also when we get to the land on the 29th, arrange as many builders as possible to uh, present themselves, share and talk. And again, everything is all on recorded calls or recorded, uh, recorded uh, videos. So uh, it's the best way we can do to this, uh, get people to this, be accountable and things like that because you know, no one wants to get exposed or get one of those Garvey towners dead on them, himself and ruin their reputation. Anyway, um, Kwabna, go ahead. Uh, next okay. question, Kwabna. If there is any more, if there is any more question. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Dr. Askew. So, uh, and this is why I was saying 
earlier. Uh, so you, you're telling me that this particular land, uh, they have the river and uh, during the rainy season, it may overflow and it will overflow on, on our properties and make it muddy. Is that what you're, what I got of that? No, 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 sir. Capital okay. and O, that is not, what I'm saying is that um, it's like before you drive to your home, before you drive to your home, there is a gutter. So uh, uh, you have to make sure you bridge the gutter so that you can drive on. That is, that is something that I'm trying to portray. Okay. Uh, your land is on top of a hill at a very enviable area. The land does not flood, and I repeat, does not flood. But in that town, there is a river in that town. And there is two ways that leads to the land. The first one is a very short one. It's just a walking distance. Mm -hmm. um, and in front of it, there is a major road. Now, that place, that is where sometimes when the river overflow its banks, it passes through. As a result of that, um, during uh, your construction, if that road, then there should be a short culvert or sm some culvert that the, the water will go under the culvert and then you can drive on top of that uh, uh, road and then you go. That's the short one. Okay. But when there is uh, rain, when there is rain, currently there is no rain. When there is rain, then it might be difficult for you to drive on that. But during your construction, when all our brothers and sisters are there to settle, there will be, definitely, there will be a small break, a culvert, so that the, rain, the water that comes can pass underneath, and then you drive on, on top of it. But currently, because on the 29th is very close, and uh, we cannot do use that covid so uh, i i had a chat with my brother bomani uh, we also had a chat with the uh, with the Soviet, including nana and then the legal practitioner so nana decided that okay so why can't we go through the long way now with the long way then there should be a road a road that leads to the land as a result of that, the uh, uh, Soviet said he can design a route that leads to the land. So we will not pass through the mud even when it rains or the, uh, the river overflow it banks. So he has created, but we need to, there are trees there that we need to hire the machine to pave the way and that will lead to the land. So in this case, whether it rains or not, the, you have another route, alternative route that will lead you to the land. Okay. I hope I'm, uh, 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 I'm clear. Yeah, and so basically uh, on the way out of the land to the main, to the main uh, land, I mean the main highway, it wouldn't be any issue there uh, going no. out other of the property going into a crowd, whatever case may be, that won't be an issue. Yeah. Well, no, no, that will not be an issue at okay. all. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thanks so much. All right, then. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, Doc. So perfect. So, Kwabna, everything is good. So, um, uh, you've been able to set up uh, about about five to seven people there uh, in uh, Winneba. Yes, currently I have about uh, four people who came and uh, I look for accommodation for them. Uh, the, all of them are in uh, one house, one big house that have five rooms, uh, a big kitchen. And uh, uh, it is only one person that have washroom inside his room. The rest of them have a shared washroom and bathroom. 
So two rooms shared one, two rooms shared one. And uh, they've been there for over a month now. And uh, they are just enjoying the place. All right, perfect. So what uh, I spoke with Corbin about, uh, this is not really um, uh, what we have done as far as a consultant has, but uh, what we have talked about is um, uh, for those who want to make accommodations since uh, he, you know, he's a tour guide and he has access to certain setups, the best thing we can do is put our money together and then get a long-term uh, home. Um, um, I can't tell you how long to do it, uh, but six months is always a good start if you can get a six-month uh, lease, but it's usually not something that's uh, dear in Ghana. It's usually more than that, but someone like uh, Kwabna can uh, negotiate that and work things out for you. So we're all trying to provide our best um, support as possible uh, to make this uh, whole thing work. But um, beyond just the land um, acquisition and management, uh, nothing else is really our responsibility. We really wish we had more support for everyone who wants to move to Ghana and everything. But it's something we, you know, we can do our best to point you in the right direction and help you with certain things. Uh, like right now, we're dealing with a, a person that can handle all the containers. We're interviewing them. And just like we, we're dealing with all the builders. So as time go along, we're trying our best to put things in place. But anyone else will ever want to step up and uh, join the party? Uh, I'm, you know, as you see me, I'm just working on a bunch of things as best as possible. Because what happens in these groups is you have you know, one or two people want to do certain things. And then they get tired of things. And then everything falls apart. Uh, but uh, I, you know, personally, I have a lot. To, I have a lot to prove, and um, the, the situation in Garvey Town literally just motivate me because I've seen how quick you can have a big vision and talk big, and then everything just falls apart. So I get up every day with us working on that. So Kwabna and our attorney Richard, if anyone have any issues with with anything, just reach out to me, and you know, also we'll get it to where you can just reach out to. Well, all of us are on the same uh, group page, so. Uh, any communication should be fine, and then we can share it in whatever separate group or communities we have. So I'm hoping we can, we can just flow like that, but if there's any serious issues with what's really going on in Ghana, please uh, reach out to me. My goal uh, every day is to address those issues and fix whatever solution, situations as a person organizing this community, and I've made sure that um, my valued interest is in it along with others and shown corporate economics. But in order for these things to work, someone or a few people must get be out there, you know, putting the work in and getting it done. So I'm working on many projects. Anybody ever want to help on different things, just join force. You don't have to be in any specific committee and things like that. So right now, this uh, things are open up for those situations. So anyone want to share anything? Um, uh, everything is open and anyone have any questions for me, let me know. Um, other than that, um, everything that I've told everybody that I'm working on, I've, I've completed or I've given updates. The builder list is there. Um, and also um, uh, the business plan that I've posted in the business and uh, professional committee and also the uh, plan and development committee is, is there. Uh, and I'm always waiting feedback. And once I get some more information on the ground and I get there, I'll do some more updates and uh, we do some more presentation on the ground. So we have everything set right now for December 28, which is when we have the business conference. And December 29 is when we have the land presentation. So all of that is gonna be documented. We give everybody uh, updates. And right now we just wanna make sure that we just have everything stable and organized that way everybody can process the, all of the updates and things that they're gonna uh, see because you know, we, we'll put some serious work into planning all of this out to a T and making sure everything is in place. And unfortunate with coronavirus and a bunch of different government policies and di different things we have kept forward, but that's what it is. It's, you gotta be ready for the wave because it's coming and things like that. And, you know, any kind of drama, we're just gonna handle it and deal with it. Um, I've been through many different process of working with uh, uh, you know, the 16 years of failure like Garvita and Fianca and the crazy kingship of what they have. And people may even talk about me and say, I, 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 you know, may, may say certain things, but it's all good. I'm one of the person, just like group member, just like everybody else, I'm gonna get up every day and I'm gonna do what we need to get done. And, and, you know, and the same thing as anyone else. And the more of us that just get up and we do the work because it's not about titles or anything. It's about doing the work. I'd rather just be up every day doing whatever project that, that's posted on the screen and it's getting it done. Uh, I got a question. Oh, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I got <laughs> three things. First, um, I wanted to ask, did we conclude uh, or, or 
will we and when will we conclude regarding the BRC as a uh, community? Are we voting on that? Are we going to look into that to figure out if that's how we're going to proceed after Wednesday um, when the lawyer gets back with us? Will we at that time um, take in consideration the BRC? And then my other question is, what Dr. Ask you was stating, since this is such a comprehensive uh, thing we're doing, uh, do we have something or a plan in place uh, based on what he says, since he has experience in that area, uh, to glean off of him and to find out what our next step would be so we can be move, moving forward with our community? Um, if we're using the BRC or even what Dr. Askew is saying, do we have something in place for that so we can proceed? Uh, yes, uh, we'll just uh, discuss it in our group chat. Honestly, uh, that's the best thing I can recommend to all of us, but mainly our uh, planning and development is going to have to dis discuss it in that committee. So everything this is dependent on the committee. Um, I don't want to tie myself up in too many meetings, but we have 10 committees that's perfectly organized and set up and they just have to communicate with themselves and then also do presentations. So in the case of the BRC, um, that committee would present to the, everyone else on the group chat and, and so on. And then we, us on the group chat would either do a process of either voting on certain certain things. We can ask one or two, a representation to this create a voting system uh, as one option, or we can just work that out. But honestly, I just want us to work on everything in the group chat. All of us are connected on a WhatsApp across the network of the globe. Um, and it's a perfect way to store data as far as people conversating, just like, you know, I'm recording all these conference calls, so we have data on there. But anyway, our next person, uh, let me just um, see if anyone else wanna share anything. Are we still recording? Uh, yes, we're still recording. So please, um, um, anything private uh, we can do after, we just literally but, click uh, on the, the stop recording button. But uh, we're trying to get uh, all the updates in uh, for our other group members. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Kwabna, go ahead. I can't hear you. I have something to share. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, the, first, the first one is that I've informed all the builders about the uh, meeting, uh, the conference that is coming on. I've given them the time, the place, and everything. And they have promised that they will be there. They will definitely come. Uh, so I'm happy about it. The second thing is that... Um, uh, we are in a, a COVID era, if I may say. Um, I know normally when you are coming, uh, there's a donation of books and things and other for school children, especially with Trinity. Uh, I'll be so pleased, so pleased if uh, we can add uh, what they call hand sanitizer in a small container or whatever, if we can add uh, those things, uh, uh, it will also go a long way to help our children who goes to school and is supposed to clean their hands almost every now and then. Thank you. Yes, this is Mafo. Uh, could you be more specific? Um, what did the children need? Over. My name is. Yes, Mr. Kobina. Um, could you be more specific as to what the children need? My name is. Yes, Madam. Oh, the books are okay. The pen because uh, a key, and that is good. But if we it could add uh, to go a long way to help. Normally, every year there's books, book bags, uh, shoes, dresses. Am I the only one who can't hear him? Yes, unfortunately, um, he has a bad feed, and that's what he's been saying. Hey, uh, Kamani, if he could, if he could email you, and then you could send it to us or something. 
Educational. Kwabna is also in the group chat with us. So Kwabna, you can just also text your information uh, in the group chat. And what we're going to do is just open things Not up. A little bit. No. All right, let me see. All right, uh, let me just meet Kwabna. So um, everyone, if um, you had questions for Kwabna and you weren't able to ask them uh, with us, you know, we're going to continue these sessions as all of us that's involved in the project just really speak about everything and what's going on that way. Uh, there's no gossip or hearsay or whatever you hear it from those of us that's working on the project every day or continuously. Uh, so, you know, my goal is to keep it that simple, our communication and then whatever policies that we agree on, setting in place to do whatever, whatever uh, I'm agreeing on us handling it and everything. We have a, bo we have a board um, uh, set up uh, on WhatsApp and 10 committees. And I also, I'm on a, commi a committee with uh, Nana uh, Attorney Richard and uh, Kwabna, and also we just have to add the surveyor um, and things like that. And then uh, everyone is in the group chat all together, uh, with the exception of Nana and also the uh, surveyor. Uh, but Richard and Kwabna, which is our two main representation there in, in Ghana, handling all the legal aspect and the consultant aspect, um, they're on the group chat. They see everything we post and things like that. Um, they are both great representation of their country, Ghana, and uh, please, please give yourself because <laughs> whatever they see, they're going to report and say, hey, we have a group of, of black folks in the diaspora that are very passionate about Africa and they really, really want to return to the land of the ancestors and everything. And we just, we, we need to just welcome them better. So that's what the diplomatic relationship that we're literally uh, building with our attorney Richard and also Kwabna and also Nana. Eventually, uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. All right, uh, please, let me just finish my point, everyone. Um, I try not to talk too long, I'll just uh, finish. But uh, that's why we have um, uh, myself on there with uh, Attorney Richard um, and, and Nana in, a, in, in, in a, a separate WhatsApp. So it's more than enough WhatsApp to communicate. So whatever is going on in the group page, anything anyone is telling me or not feeling, I'm posting to Nana and letting them know people may, you know, right now we need additional help, maybe uh, in areas of building, and uh, areas of building permits. So, it, you know, so he's been able to say, you know, I'm, you know, I like the energy of the group. Let me just try to go above and beyond and do certain things. So we also reaching out to people who don't necessarily have those responsibilities, even the surveyor, me and him communicated and he's open to, you know, to, to, to do certain things to help you get building permit, able to just explain how you can get it done quick uh, and things like that. So those are things that we're just gonna uh, work on uh, so that's um, my goal is to keep you posted and just honestly, man, anything that anyone just needs to know directly what's going on, it's those of us that's in that group together uh, because we're, we're working together and I'm making sure as your represent, representation, monitor everything that we have communicated and give reminders and everything as best as possible. And anyone else want, wants to join the party, uh, I have a few people that have sent me a message. Um, you know, we'll be able to just you know, add some more flexibility as we begin to just, you know, get more people to ha and see a feel of what, what really needs to, you know, to work out because it's a whole lot and we all have to literally work together on the same page to be able to get it done. And communication is the most important thing. So that's why I mentioned that the WhatsApp page are perfect. And ultimately I, I have everyone on email. So I'll always send certain emails like conference calls and things like that. But everything is really the group page and the group page all have a way you can go to the top and click on it and you see any media posted, any links and things like that, and definitely a PDF. So even when you do reports and things like that, uh, you, you upload and save them as PDFs and those reports and things will continue. Let me stop talking and let the next person talk. And Kwabna, do you have anything else to share before we kind of start wrapping things up? All right, so yeah, that's why Kwabna still having difficulties. Anyone else want to share anything that all of us have talked about as far as us moving forward to building this community and getting all of the legal things and everything in place to actually be a business community of people who have registered themselves as a business and willing to just come together and work on many different business to sustain themselves? I need to make a motion that um, we adopt the minutes from November 15th meeting as presented. All right, got motion good. Thank you. 
I'd like to make a motion that we establish a subgroup to get all of the right people in the room to talk as far as a project plan. Because I heard from Sister Aya that um, the BRC, I think that's who they are, um, have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that we're not being overcharged, et cetera, and that they also want to make sure that we're in alignment with a, a, a zoning code of some sort. So I think that the right uh, um, people need to be in the room. Over. That's my motion. An exit muffle, that's one of those things that we have to talk about and things like that. But uh, if you want to uh, present some ideas uh, um, more specifically, absolutely do share. And you and I can also talk, but it's all good. Um, just trying to get all of us to be open to different ideas and let everyone know that it's up to all of us to solve problems, come up with ideas. And I'm definitely, I have everybody's back. And, Are and we still recording? Uh, yes, uh, anybody else need to uh, speak about anything before we just uh, stop the uh, recording? I, I Kim, give me a few seconds and uh, we'll just uh, get that going. I just wanna make sure everybody have a chance to speak in reference to the legal aspect, uh, the con consultation aspect and how we're moving as, as far as getting everything ac accomplished. All right, perfect. All right, so family, give me a few seconds. I'm gonna stop the recording. Uh, so um, uh, everything that before this and when we started is what I'm looking to share with others uh, that wants to come into the group. So um, all right, family, let me hit uh, stop. stop.